What's up, YouTube? How's it going? It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Hawaii. It's sunny, and I thought it would be a great time to shoot a video. So today, I would like to show you uh, my writing instrument collection. In case you don't know, my name is Morgan, and thank you for spending some time with me here today. So a little bit about my journey with uh, writing and pens specifically. So I started journaling in May of 2022. And at first when I started, I couldn't get consistent with the experience because I found it to be extremely like uncomfortable uh, writing for long periods of time with a ballpoint pen. So my solution was to upgrade my tools. So I started collecting pens and here we are today. And this is what I'd like to show you. So starting it from uh, basically cheapest to most expensive, uh, the first one I'd like to show you today is a Skillcraft. It's a three-in-one pen and it's got a red ballpoint, a mechanical pencil, and a regular black ballpoint. Pretty thin pen. It's actually kind of uncomfortable to write with, like I was talking about earlier. I don't use this for journaling. I specifically use this for taking like quick short notes at work, but it's very compact and it's very, uh, it's very easy to store in my pockets. So it doesn't take up much room and I carry it around with me as my EDC. The next pen I would like to show you is a Parker uh, Rollerball, and this is their monochrome, this is their monochrome IM, I believe, and it's just a regular rollerball, as you can see, and pretty nondescript pen, but it feels nice in the hand, it's black PVD coated, it's made out of brass, uh, it just feels, you know, it just feels nice, so I got it, and it has my initials engraved on it in case I ever lose it. Good pen. This next one is the first fountain pen in my collection. So this is from the brand called Montegrappa and it's their Omo 01. It's one of the more like baseline models in their collection. Uh, Montegrappa is really known for like creating some like out of this world designs and they have some really like extravagant models on their site but those aren't really to my taste. But this is a, it's a decent fountain pen. It's got a steel nib. Uh, nothing crazy there, and it accepts cartridges and converters. Right now I have a cartridge loaded into it, and yeah, it's, I carry this one around with me uh, at work every day as well. So whenever I feel like writing with a fountain pen at work, if I feel like taking notes in my uh, journal or something, I pull this one out. So now we're getting up there in price uh, because all of these other pieces are from Mont Blanc. And if you know anything about fountain pens, you know that Mont Blanc is one of the more like high-end brands. Um, but this is just one of their uh, ballpoint models. This is from their Star Walker collection, and it's a fully like platinum coated model. And it's really nice. It feels good in the hand. I'd say the only reason that I got this one was because when I was on a plane going to Japan for some work, I saw this pen in the Sky Mall and it was like basically 50% off of because of the like yen to US dollar conversion rate. So I felt like it would be good to pick it up. Yeah, it's a nice pen. It feels good in the hand and it writes well. So I got it. Next one up is another Mont Blanc from the Star Walker collection, but this one is an ultra black model. It's a rollerball. Sorry, it's a fine liner, uh, so not a fountain pen. But I got this one when I was in Los Angeles, uh, visiting my mom after uh, not seeing my family for like three years. Uh, I was working overseas and I came back and my mom and I were hanging around, uh, we were hanging around the mall and uh, I saw they had a Mont Blanc uh, like little boutique there and I decided to uh, pick this one up. So every time I look at this one, I think of my mom. It's a nice reminder. 
another Star Walker. So this one is from the 2022 release. It's called the Black Cosmos. And this one is a fountain pen, as you can see. It's got a nice nib on it. Very like simple, understated design, but it's extremely elegant in my opinion. And I think it's quite beautiful. And the whole pen is made out of metal. It's got a like matte black uh, stippled design in it. So it feels very tactile in the hand. It's quite beautiful to hold and to, and to experience. And this one is like great for, it's great for like extended periods of journaling. This one accepts uh, cartridges and it also has an included converter. Of course the converter says use Mont Blanc ink only. Um, I don't know how true that is. I don't know what would happen if you used another brand of ink, but yeah. I paid a lot of money for this pen, so I'm not gonna take my chances with it. Next up is a pen that most fountain pen users and enthusiasts should recognize. This is a Mont Blanc 149. It needs no introduction though, because again, if you like fountain pens, then you know this pen pretty well. Yeah, this pen is uh, really amazing to me because when I went to Thailand to visit my girlfriend, um, I was hanging out with her at the mall and we found a, another Mont Blanc boutique there and uh, I picked this pen up while we were hanging out. So every time I look at this pen, I think of my girlfriend and all of the amazing and happy memories that we have made together so far. It's a beautiful pen with a beautiful memories and it really adds to my collection. I think personally that that's how any collection should be, excuse me, I think that's how any collection should be uh, added to and made. Uh, every time you can attach some sort of emotional memory to it or something powerful, then it's, it's a purchase that's worth making, in my opinion. So this final pen is actually uh, a limited edition release from Mont Blanc. It's the Brothers Grimm version. And there's a lot of symbology going on with this model, but mainly uh, their, their design is dedicated to the Brothers Grimm. So on different parts of the, the writing instrument, you have the signatures of both brothers. So there's, uh, I believe this is Wilhelm Grimm's signature on the barrel, and then Jacob Grimm's signature is right here on the cap. And then the whole pen is designed to look like a walking stick. And these like subtle uh, grooves in the barrel and the cap on the resin are uh, emblematic of Rapunzel's hair. And again, this is a fountain pen, really beautiful. Um, it's got an 18 karat gold nib, just like the Mont Blanc pens. And this one, like the 149, is also a piston filler, so it's really easy to fill. It only requires uh, cleaning every now and then. And yeah, this is a daily driver for me. All of my pens are daily drivers, but uh, this one especially. I like this thing a lot. It's really nice. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys liked the video, uh, please give it a like, it helps me out. Uh, if you find this content interesting, please consider subscribing and uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you like pens? Do you like fountain pens? Do you hate them? Do you think they're overrated or obsolete in you know 2022? Let me know. Thanks for watching.